Hi, my name is James with RenergyCafe.com and this is the third part of a lecture series on electronic principles. We've already covered voltage and current. At this point we're going to be covering resistance. And uh, let's go ahead and recap real quick. Voltage is the potential, the ability to push electrons as it usually is through a copper wire or such. And uh, current is the actual movement of those electrons through the wire. And we had two analogies. One was ping pong balls in a tube and the other one was a water tower full of water and uh, placing a pipe in there to drain it out so we would have our current flow. Now, resistance is anything that resists this current flow. Whether you want to think of it as a ping pong ball, or you want to think of it as a water coming out of this water tower, it doesn't matter. Now, the way you're generally going to see it, or how you want to start thinking of it, is in the form of a schematic. Now, this right here is a battery that I just drew. It's a schematic battery. Now the little side is negative, and the big side is positive. And generally you're going to have a, uh, a value over here, like let's say 12 volts DC. For this particular example, it's not, it's not relevant. But I am going to go ahead and throw in a light bulb. If you don't know what the schematic light bulb looks like, it looks like a little squiggly in a line with a circle around it. So we have a series circuit, which we're going to be getting into next, or soon, and uh, a light bulb. Now as this current flows from negative to positive, passes through the light bulb, it goes back and completes the circuit. Now this light bulb offers some resistance, and this resistance is resistance to the current flow. So anything that is in its way, whether it's this light bulb, whether we throw in a resistor, which we will oftentimes be doing to uh, control the current in a series circuit, either way it reduces that current. And that's resistance, current, and voltage. And uh, it's pretty simple. The next step we're going to be taking is relating those with E equals I times R plugging in the formulas and trying to figure out what some of these values are if we plug in ohms, amps, and voltage.